Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Gucci. This video is sponsored to you by channelfarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Just kept prowess. Yesterday, first league, we did well. We went uh, 4 and 1. Um, Alright, so how's the deck about? It's Alerts of the Dream Deck. Dream Den deck. And we're playing 27, 1 draw. 2 draw, that's it. The deck is um, it's a prowess deck, so we're playing the 16 creatures, Dragon's Ray Channeler, Monasters to the Spirit, Ragavan, and Soulscar Mage. And um, it also has interaction in the form of Lightning Bolt Lava Dart. It -do 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 -do. Darth Jason, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you around. All right, you just all right at the beginning as I'm describing the deck I'll be playing today. A brave is to answer Chalice of the Void and also just another removal spell. I caught an only heat for that. And then we got Expressive Iteration as like the only blue splash, but I think it's worth it. And the uh, Path to Exile and I guess Lurus as the only white splash because this has to do with unkillable threats like a Murktide Regent, for example, but also the the Tarnable, for example. Mana base has uh, just Jigger Finder and Steam Vents, as well as some uh, Penopy Lands in Fire Reality and Canyon. But yeah, it's straightforward deck. Just um, basically it's the prowess, but without the the 5 mana 3 3, I guess. Thank you again, Dark Jason, and uh, yeah, let's battle. Let's battle, shall we? On the draw. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Luridus. Alright, this end is a plan. The plan of drawing a second land to Alright, we got a braid. A braid could be a prismatic um array, you know what's it called? Prismatic um the, the X and White that also deals with the chalice, but I feel like this deck doesn't really need it more one mana um one mana answers you already have plenty of that with bolts and lava dart anyway spire of industry up uh how's it going ciao yes yes saturday morning with that. Alright, point was one card in it, huh? Hey, I guess I can just crack those bubbles. Just one, sure. Ooh, Ragavan. Alright, um... Mm -mm. I guess I just go Secret Foundry. Blue Spear. And I believe I want to pass the turn. Because <clears throat> if I attack, opponent obviously takes it. Or, you know, they're not gonna, or at least, like, puts me on mutagenic growth. Whereas, if I don't do anything, they might attack and then I use the growth. <laughs> thank you, thank you for subbing for 16 months. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll see you when? Not tomorrow, the day after, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah. <clears throat> buongiorno, buongiorno. Alright, so the got Urza Saga. But not have many artifacts, so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Sorry. Okay. <clears throat> Ingenious Myth. I've never seen this card. Alright, I've never seen this card, but uh, I've never played against this card. Tomorrow night. Okay, I'll be here. We got Dark Still Citadel in it. Alright, so they found the third land to activate the saga. Let's see if they attack. I'm sure they do. Hello, Newton. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody, from your channel. We are just starting here playing uh, this Red Prowess deck. Playing this Red Prowess deck. 
Am I going to go for a steam vents or a mountain? Because I might just go monster sleep spear, bolt the frogmite attack. And actually, monster sleep. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll keep the mana repose for the next turn. I okay, just go mountain. A, I'll, uh, I'll go to combat here with both before casting the bolt. They obviously are going to block with both in their mind. <laughs> Some privately message me about the whole sponsorship. You click on the link that gives me that gives me uh, support. So that's that. There's that. All right, now I have to use this bolt. Wondering whether should I use it on the froggy or on this guy? This guy gets larger, but only for one, right? Whenever one more artifact is not in your control. Hmm. It's gonna be tough. I think I'm gonna bolt the froggy just to reduce their... Um, just to reduce their... Uh... <laughs> what's, wrong, what's wrong with the whole sponsorship sub, but tell me. All right. Dark City also triggers this guy. Cool, cool story. In your land triggering a uh, triggering creature. All right, make sure it's bubble. Now I get extra counter in Genius Smith. They, they are making a large uh, thing, but thankfully we have this braid that we play over at the prismatic. Uh, Command. I can't remember the name of that card, the X and the Y to exile thing. Sure. I got the mountain there. Even if I have an express iteration in my deck. Just mom and foes. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm just attacking here. And uh, I want to see what they do with the saga. All those cards are very hard to beat. Very hard to beat in the main deck. Affinity definitely just works on another level when they have this card. And yeah. Alright, so they make a 4 4 token. Oh wow, it grows this guy too. Yeah, I probably should. I don't know. Let me think about how do they. Uh, Alright, you block. So they block, I, I can easily make a Swiss Spear bigger than. Uh, bigger than. Uh, yeah, totally. Because I can go, so mutagenic growth puts it into a 4-5 already. So just mutagenic growth is enough. Yeah, and I kind of want to keep a braid more pose for the future. Or I could also go monomorphose a braid here. Yeah, maybe this is better. This guy is getting large. Don't get me wrong, they're also making a construct that's very large, which I might want to a braid. Yeah, big regrets in the Frogmite. I guess if the Frogmite arises would be a pop, mm, pop choice. Because I might also go Nutrigenic Growth, save the Swift Spear, and just cast two more creatures. Yeah, that can also be a plan. Good morning, card loss. That could also be a plan, huh? What do they do with this? They get, they get the, if they get the, the Shadow Spear, and I keep it here, I'll just take five damage. It's not the word. It's not the end of the world. And then I can, like, I'll have this in place. So I can, like, take it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to go. I'm just playing it safe. Not sure it's, if it's correct. But, yeah. Uh, mutagenic growth, um, the Swiss bird has been blocked up to a 4-5. That's just 0 minus plus 3 plus 3 on a 4 hours creature. So I'm taking down the construct. And you go 13. And I just deploy two creatures. Still not playing that mana morphose because I'm gonna get the triple prowess next turn. I could have gone uh, just mana morphose a braid, mutagenic growth on the other swift spear to deal a lot more damage. But I decided to, to take this other line. Ragavan doesn't do much because of the memnites, but every artifact I kill, of course, like weakens their deck. So yeah, Ragavan is obviously not great in this matchup, but. 
good it is. We're on the draw. Maybe if we were in the play, it would have been different. That's kind of like the classic Ragavan. On the play versus on the draw. The game's still super open. I feel like they do have that Urza saga that might be annoying. But if there's a braiding in, that I can like throw them off, maybe. Nope. Goblin guy, then Ragavan plus Dread Trishano is great. Yeah, Burn is definitely great. I, I like the prowess uh, aspect of this deck a lot. Cards like Metamorphose and, and Mutagenic Growth, that can just be so messed up in some scenarios. And I'm building that scenario for next turn. Here I had to use Mutagenic Growth. They're going for the Saga. Let's see if they make a Construct. They do. They get Shadow Sphere? Yeah, they might. Okay, so the Ingenious Myth gets larger. Yeah, I could have killed it. I could have killed it. That was a, maybe a mistake. That was maybe a mistake. They killed it on turn 2 and chose to kill Frog Might instead. Yeah, Correction Mana Carter just Mana foes with the Prowess is very sweet. Anyway, they're gonna blow up a land, and now they'll, uh, we'll see what they take. They took Shadow Sphere, haha. Uh -huh. Perfectly fine to me. Froggy for free. Morning, Miyako. This one good, doesn't get an extra counter. Gonna be a good blocker. Let, let's see how they do this now. If I take my turn, let's, let's see what I draw. Bubble. Call in turn. Well, I'm playing this because I'm going to combat now. I could play this first, but no, I don't want to because I want to just use a braid as a combat trick. I'm just doing this. I want to let my opponent sort it out. They have been blocking into my prowess trigger last turn, so I just want to them. I just want them to sort it out. Do the blocking that they want to do, and then I'm unloading my hand. And I don't care if Ragavan dies to a Mem Knight. I couldn't care less about my Ragavan in this spot. This Mammonite is uh, still important. Like, there's, they have a Shadow Spear and etc. So. Remember that I have Soul Scar Mage, which makes your burn spell act like combat trick, okay? Like, it's not going to be easy for my opponent to deal with. And this is why I play the Abrade over Prismatic uh, Command, because... Uh, sorry, uh, a, a braid or a prismatic ending because this is an instant speed card and your deck is like, oh wow, they just block like this. Well, let's begin with the Monomorphose. Uh, adding... Uh, mm, okay, I can go red, white. Draw. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Just classic, just glorious anthem for free. Just actual free. Alright, now. Now this is perfect, because I can upbraid the... I can upbraid the... Let me think. I can upbraid the construct. And this becomes a 4-5. Destroy target artifact. And now, their creatures die. I keep my swift spears. They're at 5 life. I think I'm gonna go Secret Foundry. It's gonna be bad uh, if I don't draw Triple White for my Lurus. It's gonna also be bad if I draw Expressive Iteration. Hmm. So here we are. My board state <laughs> definitely. Uh, ask me to draw a spell next turn, though, like a Lava Dart. Let's see what they do. If they just attack, I keep an attack. I'm okay with that. This becomes a 3-3 three, three life link trample. Are they attacking me or staying back? I stay back, sure. See what I draw? Well... <laughs> uh, well... I think I'm just leading off with this. And I'll add uh, blue and uh, 
blue and red. Yeah, I like blue and red. Mishra's bubble. That 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 should be it. All right. Yeah, winning game one against Affinity on the play with a turn two is a saga. It definitely required me to draw very well, like three metamorphoses and the the abrade and etc. But that was a good game one. I can tell you. All right, now we're going to play. We're going to bring in Wear Tear, Path, Alpine Moon. That's it. I don't want to bring in Torpor Orb. Yeah, that's so much colored mana cards. Uh, now what am I doing? I'm on the draw. Cutting the classic Ragavans. What else are we cutting? I certainly don't want to cut any more creatures. Lava Dart? Maybe one. I have two more cards to cut. Maybe one iteration. What else do I want to cut? Maybe four path are too many. I'll just go with. Let's go with three total. Yeah, Metamorphose is a wonderful card if you have prowess creatures around or like Arcot Phoenix in the graveyard and stuff like that. Alright, we got Mulligan this hand and boom. Uh, gonna keep a zero lander. Yeah. I think I'm keeping a zero lander. Uh bottom of Path to Exile, yeah. I feel like if I go to five, there's no way I can win. And uh, yeah, Alpine Moon. Like, big boss. Good morning, big boss. How's it going, my friend? Thirty-two months of subs. That's infinite. Thank you, thank you. Any plans for cube? No. Not today. Not today. Buongiorno, buongiorno, big boss. Alright, I'm playing the Soul Scar Mage, and I believe I'm also playing the bubble, because I need to hit a second land drop, so. Get a prowess trigger, we'll just leave. Just leave it there. At a Grenada the beach. Which beach? Where's your where's your beach? I'll be I'll be I'll be cubing not cubing my life, reasoning in my cube later today. Oh my I go to my local game store, Gira One, and I'll chill in his store the whole afternoon while I'm reasoning my cube. West coast of Canada. West coast means uh, on the Pacific Ocean. Okay. Where? In Vancouver? What other what other country or what other cities are in there? Ocean Falls. Yeah, I'm sure that's the most popular one, right? Okay, so good news, my opponent doesn't have a doesn't have a what's it called? The Urza saga. Maybe they had they just want to dispatch me, I guess. Word here is very powerful. I don't have the mana for it, but I'm holding on Pine Moon, no reason to play, exactly this reason. I wanted to, wanted to wait for them to play the Urza Saga so I could Stone Rain it. Yeah, I was there, I was there at PT Vancouver when they made, uh, when they made the Mulligan change. It was PT Magic Origins. A memory I have about that PT, it's a funny one. As 2-5, so out of contention for or uh, it was two five, so out of contention for uh, day two, and I chose not to drop. Just only for fun, the last round, and uh, last round in two five, I played against. Sorry, two four. Never mind, two four. I played against John Finkel in the two four bracket, and I lost. So I finished two five. So that's a funny story. That's the last. The lesson there is. Never drop because you might play against John Finkel. <laughs> Hot monitor. All right, that's a good one. I think until that was probably my first time playing against John Finkel. 
Then I met him again in the top eight of PT Shadows of Rain Shred and won. And then several other times. Actually, I might check it out. Why did Saga go to the graveyard? Because Alpine Moon kills it. Alpine Moon's good. Dark. Alright, I'll, um. Well, let me sure it's bubble. See what you got. You got in hand. Ornithopter. Mismatching Ornithopter. Pretty rare. I'll probably just love it art as Mem Knight. It was a bold this top monitor. I have so many love it arts. Yeah, I just want to fire it up. Are they using the welding jar? Cool, cool. Get two cards in end. Hope it's at least another Urza saga. Ooh, Crania plating. We need to draw a land as soon as possible. We'll play this. Whoa, Sojourner's Companion. Yeah, I'm not long for this world. I'm not long for this world. Even if I draw land, they have kind of plating. Sorry, they have well, they jar. All right, good game, affinity. Go back to game three. Hopefully, I won't. Be, I won't keep a, a zero lander. I think it's fine in hindsight. You just you know, if you lose, if you don't draw well, you lose. And that's what happens. I think it's totally fine to keep to keep uh, to keep very bad hands at, at six. Actually, I think that people mulligan on two five way too often. I mean, it depends. Actually, there's decks that can mulligan to five, like I don't know, Amulet Titan or I don't know, Affinity, because there's cards like Earth Saga or Amulet Vigor that just carries the deck so much. So it's fine if you mulligan, but a deck like this. Every card matters so, so much. You're a prowess strategy. We need to amass together spells. So every mulligan you take is going to be very detrimental to your overall plan. So you just hope to get lucky with a couple of draw step. And if you don't, you just lose. That's fine. You don't have to. You don't have to. All right. I'm going to go Sacred Foundry, a Sorcerer Mage. It's better to do this than this, in my opinion. Next turn, I can go Swiss Spear Bolt, and then I can do four damage instead of three. A couple of mutagenic growth. In not ideal to open two of them in your hand, but they're a combat trick. But if your opponent doesn't doesn't go in combat with you, it doesn't block. These cards do nothing. Only against the deck with Lion Bolt or an Oli Heat, then these would have been great because they would actually like be like a mount of misstep. Mutagenic growth acts like a mental misstep very often in modern. But the opponent doesn't interact with you, this card stays in hand and does nothing. How do you like the deck so far? Second League. I mean, I usually just play a very small sample size. I can tell you that, you know, that definitely functions. I'm still unsure about Regavan in this deck. It has not performed very well. It has won me a game against Mono Black Pox for what it's worth, but. That's about it. I sideboarded out. Timur Battle Rage? Yeah, but it's the same thing. Timur Battle Rage, Mutagenic Girl. It's a combo, but, you know, your opponent might have mana up and you just can't go for it or stuff like that, so. I don't know. Mono Black Pogs. <laughs> 15 damage turn 2. Could be, yeah. Could be, I didn't do the math. Not going for it though. Ooh, Memnite. Uh huh, okay. What you do? Mox Opal? <laughs> sure, well, the other guy, Paradons are playing. <laughs> okay, I'll go. Ooh, do, 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 do. Let's just be our attack with both. Do nothing, play Soul Scar Mage. They do something, I'll uh they double block, which they'll never will. I'll play one of my cards. 
but still, still never double block here. You get 18, and I'll play Soul Storm 8. Just like game one, and if you saw it, I had I had the uh, mana morphose and I kept it forever. Because the more prowess creatures you attack with, the more you want to keep your free spell in end. It's annoying if they play like a 4-4 four, four or stuff like that. But this hand can even beat like I don't mind too much about it. Turn to yours is saga. They play 4-4 four, four, though, that might be annoying. Because I have to use my burns, my my mutagenic growth. We'll see. Oh wow, they don't even have a land. Yep. I guess they're the one who kept a, a so so hand in the in the second game and didn't work out. They don't they don't even have a color to play this spot. Perfect. I'm just attacking with all and then returning lures. No need to do anything. I guess if they don't block, then I might kill them. I don't know. I guess if they don't block, I count. This game is over. Like we can talk about things, spend time. You have any any question? You have 19 unblocked. Okay, cool. Wow, they didn't block. Tripler on this map. I when I play Affinity, I played this map. Bonjour, no Chris. Can I play around this member with this hand? If I start with bold face, this becomes a two three. Yeah, I think I can play around this member. Let me count. That's four. Each of these deal three damage more. So it's six. Eleven. Sixteen. Nineteen. It's kind of funny. Instead of counting how much your creature do, you count how much your burn spell do. And they do three more each. Hold you. Yeah, that would cause them for life. Yeah. Also, I'm playing around uh, uh, this member anyway, this way. If you start with both, you're playing around this member. They never play this member against a burn deck. Oh, I'm not a burn deck. I'm a prowess deck. You definitely have this member. Hey, turu, 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 and that's the turn three, ladies and gentlemen. Turn three win. I was calling for it on Twitter. I said, uh, we are looking for turn three kills. And I didn't have to wait much. Just 30 minutes. And it arrived. So better, better update Twitter about what this. Oh, opponent also with a companion. Is this a Lurus Guerra? Wow, I played a Sky Nomad of Yorian. Crazy. Crazy chat. Yorian in modern. Wow. Alright. This end is not great, but if three of this, so basically it could be anything. Dale, dale. Alright. Boundary, yes, and play my tiny little one one Dragon's Rage Channeler. Yorgo, the companions are behind my camera, you don't see them, but they're there. Okay, it's just that screen is too tiny. Will I be at first season? I will not. No tournaments for me. Ooh, pretty art. Ooh, abundant growth. That's a that's a urine blink. Lightning bolt. All right. Are we just doing this? I think so. I think I'm just doing this. Quite hard to get to delirium though, but I don't have anything else to do this turn. I'm just gonna do this. Lava spike you. Graveyard. And then uh, Lava Spike you. Can I get to Delirium with this play? Mm, I can't. Yeah. I guess I could with the Mutagenic Growth. Alright, depends what I see here. What do I see here? Hey, yes, hey, 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 hey. Alright. 
I'm just doing this, dude, sure. Nah. Yeah, no. Got to get tower one. It's pretty terrible. Maybe this card is just is not good in this deck. I don't have sorceries. Should I have a little more sorceries? Should I put this just a scriper next turn? Maybe. Alright. Guess glad I didn't use mutagenic growth, huh? <laughs> Monster is super tough because that's gonna kill the Bren. Scrap keep. Yeah, I was thinking about it. And this deck definitely has an hard time in getting to the lyric. I got one previous games because I didn't. I did. I've never drawn this. Uh, drawn the right channel or. Like better than Chalern. All right, so a nice amount of basic. Am I cracking the canyon? Yeah, cracking the canyon here, or maybe the eyelet. Actually, I want to crack the eyelet. Yeah, because I need double white for Luridus. How'd you do? Vindicate. Depends on the. All right. Oh, uh, let's draw a card. Uh, getting back Lurus. Yeah, not whenever you don't draw Mishra's bubble, this card is not. Might still be good on Magic Arena because you have Faithless looting. I don't know, but I feel like whenever you don't draw the Mishra's Bubble, uh, it's a 1 1. Sure, I guess I've scried two times two lands in the graveyard, so I avoid the flood that way. Play top land, sure, draw. Uh, Yeah, let me just attack and then I'll uh, play two dorks. We can actually kill my opponent with the Lava Dart. Exile, physical edition. Those are the creature exile all cards. All right, whatever. Who cares? Who cares? He didn't like them anyway. This I like a lot. How am I today? Good. I'm gonna go in the afternoon to my local game store to sleep by cube. And being good company, so kind of excited. And then maybe I'll stay around for the legacy event uh, tonight. I don't mean that I'll be tired for tomorrow's stream. I don't know. I might stream from 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 the local game store. We will see how it goes. I'm definitely streaming because that is what I do. How does it take to receive the cube? It takes. It takes. It takes some time. I need to get Yorian in hand. And they got my Luris, but kinda, kinda sad. I feel sad Luris. Am I cracking a cane? I don't wanna cast a Luris like that, but actually, I think I will let him fight. Not flashing back anything, but. I don't have much to do. Just cast my three two life link. You already played enough enough removals, and you go back. You are in. I'm assuming you don't have uh, that much. You're curious. It might take like the whole afternoon. I don't know, three or four hours. Also, what I do usually is I clean the perfect. Um, I change the perfect leaves as well. Um, I like to also like clean the cards with uh, a towel. Well, you can only have one. I don't know. I don't think I've, I've never seen anyone having two companions. So. I mean, that's the thing I do like every. That's the thing I do every year. So, like, when you do it, it's it's very good to just do it very well, you know. 
and not just do it for the sake of doing it. Anyway, they just play a 4 5, just very large. I do have Soul Scare Mage, but it's still very large. Okay. Mm hmm. If I throw a bolt, I can kill a Yuri, and maybe that's enough damage. Uh, I want to crack it now. Nah, do I want to crack this first? I think so. Whoa, that's a good draw, man. Good job. My one of Path to Exile, no big deal. Let's go Swift Spear. I find how I'm on six life, by the way. Seven damage. My white splash. Path to Exile Lurs. Not bad, not bad. Not in handy this game. Why don't you give me escape shift? Did they play escape shift in that deck? It's 80 cards. They might be playing bring to let escape shift. But I can't do anything about it. I have to do this. Boom, boom. I played Lavadar end of turn and top deck this into that. Lavadar would have been lethal. If Lavadar was in the graveyard, that would have been the three damage missing. Unfortunately, I, I didn't play it. Because, of course, I, I mean, I had a prowess creature. You want to save it. It just so happened that if I played this last in a clover, okay. General Spheres of Rokrik. See? That's nice to love it art. A moored ego. Is naming Love It Art? You're naming Love It Art? What are you naming? We're main deck a moored ego. Name Lightning Bolt. Oof. Thank God. <laughs> it's proof for monocolors. It doesn't die to Lava Dart. Nice. Wow, this was this was a cool win. Turn we won on turn eight. We won on turn eight this game. We dealt ourselves 14 damage from our lands and we were able to piece together a win. Here, Lava Dart gets to face one of these creatures gets through and I win. The, the 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 extra the extra alert the, the, the extra power from Lurus didn't bring it back any creatures because they exile my graveyard with Kaya's God. But wow, this is a game. Good game, man. Hello, uh what do I cyborg in this matchup? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Braid sucks. I guess the point is probably playing Chalice of the Void. Okay. Yeah, for sure. I'm actually bringing these guys in. They must be playing Chalice of the Void. Eh, what is bad? I mean, Love Dark. The card that performed the weakest is Dragon's Rechallon, for sure. How about Path to Exile? I'll keep it one. They do have one Yorian. You can mise. The, the one path on the one Yorian, like it happened. That was pretty cool. Okay, on the draw against uh, my caller Yorian. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'll have to six. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Power block canal. So let's go, mage. I thought that uh, Ragavine and Channeler were better, but they are not. I think the both Soul Mage and the uh, Monster Whisper are better than, than than the previous one on the in this deck. I mean, first thing first, they died to Ren and Six, which is definitely a detrimental thing. Too many lands, Mangu. I should stop drawing them, okay? Let's stop drawing the lands, please. Okay, my tiny little one one and uh I think I wanna play land Soulstar Mage. Four lands are definitely too many, not even a not even a canopy land. If I play three. Hey they <laughs> nice five colors. Sure. They're on the play, so they can afford doing this. But on the draw, this might be 
Even if they have like an anger of the gods, I can save my creatures. I can go bold mutagenic growth. It's not even it's it's even a one for one. Bolt is, you know, kinda of replacing itself in the sense that it goes space for three. For this game, I like burned them a lot. And uh, obviously every damage matter. My opponent ended on exactly zero life last game. Fairy Town. Yeah. Fetch okay, for a secret foundry. Drop. Uh, stop drawing lands. Look. Going to catch it. Nah, not really. But like, what? Do we Of course, best case scenario is I find Mishra's bubble and draw a spell, I draw a good card, play Solstar Mage. Yeah, I feel like that. Right, so I'll put this in my hand, it doesn't matter. My hand, bottom, Zal Zone. And that I means still it was still a draw of 2.5 cards, so you can complain. Or you can, you can always complain. Alright, I'm going Mountain, Solstar Mage, Attack the Fairy. And now I unfortunately can't do anything about um uh, Anger of the Gods, but I don't know if they play it, you know. My starting hand was already kind of land, land heavy with three lands, unfortunately, just drawing three more. Not none of them being a canopy land just means that we're gonna get flooded this game. Although if I if I, if I keep on drawing express, hmm. this is the new to fairy. The fairy definitely super good at like navigating through your late game. Four mana, supreme verdict. All right, can't do anything about that. I just wanted to fetch because of the deck painting, which is definitely a real. It might go Valky this turn. Bring to life Valky. Since, yep. Yeah. Valky tick up. Oh. oh wow, they got never miss it. Okay, what do you reveal? You revealed uh, Renan Six, Kaya's Guild, Fairy. Alright. Plus it's seven cards. Not giving up here. Kim yeah, not giving up here. Attacking with my Scar Mage. And I can bolt the Lid Mizzet down to a 3 3. And then I can Mutagenic Growth uh, the Soul Scar Mage. And then I'm going. Room 4 of this. Bolt the Lid Mizzet. And then I'll mute Jenny Growth this. Then I'll play. And I'll play a Scar Mage. Their hand is Gaius Guile, Brandon Six, the Fairy. Thankfully, didn't draw any Ragavan or Dragon's Rich Channel, or so Brandon Six. Uh, the Uh -huh. Of course, if they just went under Supreme Verdict or Anger of the Gods, and I'm scooping it up. I, I'm already just probably losing this game. Can't fight anymore. Sweeper. 
But instead of through expressive iteration in my deck, that is always like um, you know metamorphose and so on and so forth that can boost my price thing. Lightning Elix good. I can go Kaya's Guile maybe too to exile my graveyard. I, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. What I go for? Expressive iteration. Expressive iteration. Nice. All right. I've already made my land drop, but I'm assuming I'll flip at least. I'll go both in hand, go to bottom, Swift Spear Exile, play Swift Spear, play Soulstar Mage. The specific iteration is good in Monitors and is in Legacy. I honestly believe that in Legacy it's not as good and people just overripe it, but that's my opinion on the card. Legacy. Legacy is just too expensive in my opinion. People play four, but I think it should be more of a two of in Modern. It's obviously great. The games go way longer than in Legacy and you don't have Wasteland. And you have Counter F, there's nothing to be banned your card safely. Alright, so they go Pharaohs of Rogric and what Vindicate. Hmm. Draw. Spell. Nice. This is a golem, right? Card is an artifact, right? Yes. So I'll um, export monocolor. I'll destroy target artifact. And attack with both. And opponent can't really block. Land, and I'll pass extra from monocolor. I have not played any game now. I only play Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering is 10 games in one, so I, I don't need to change. To have my fulfillment of the time. And he has friend six. You get Golem, that's powerful. I should probably give up to this, yeah. Right. I'll give up to this, and I'll go to the bathroom. I'll be back in one minute, we'll play game three again. All right. Um, let's need Mizzet actually, so maybe the paths are important. Lava Dart just doesn't seem good. Still important to trigger the double prowess, so maybe. But where tear? Well, they should be playing Chalice of the Void. That's not true. Why did they think that? Yeah, like Utopia's for all and so on and so forth. Alright, let's just do this. Upgrade over Rip Apart. No, no. In the chat net. Sorcery cards are banned. Banned for weakness. But then it says, can also kill the 3 1. The Rokrik? No, it says extra from Monocolors then. Sorcery cards. Are illegal. All right. Okay. This is a card draw. It's different. The interaction should be instant, especially in a prowess deck. Okay, okay, man, this, this, the scent is good, I'm not complaining, but, uh, the fact that I don't have a 2-drop, it's somewhat not great, but that's okay. Elementals only? Yeah, you can play as passes Oracle, but yeah, Elementals only. Oh, wow, Pillar of the Baroons. <laughs> Blue card. Hey, no need to fetch. All right. Double pillar. Well, plenty of neelix. Okay, cool. Fortunately, 
open my iteration. Uh, want to do maybe Mishra's end. Yeah, definitely want to, of course, want to get the bubble. I'm just thinking. I'm going to go with my repose. Sorry, landing bolt. Most just love it. When am I go to fairy bounds? At which point I want to. Oh, I drew a third pillar of the Baroons. And draw. Path, draw. Regaban. Yeah, let's. First. I uh, kept in two darts and draw them both. Creation. Find uh, Sweet Spear in hand. Um, I'm just dashing the Ragavan. Plays around. Uh, makes me play around Supreme Verdict. Pretty sure that if they had a. Uh, if they had a uh, Lightning Elix, they would have played in their turn, and they can't play much else. So that's 5 damage and exile a generous version for Brokerick, which I'm happy I exiled. And I'm just passing the turn now. Don't want to use the treasure to play an AC card. That's no point in doing that. Amulet? Yeah, Amulet 2 for sure. Third pillar. You got three. Hmm. Supreme Verdict, Omnath, Legacy of Creation. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've already made your land drop, so no need to kill it on ATB. Five creature type, huh? Okay. So, what do I do? I'll play Swift Spear. Attack in a Regavan. The Omnath. Actually, let me think if I have lethal. I didn't count. If I go Lava Dart, base flashback, that's going to be 4, 8, 10, 12. It's not. As I said, Lava Dart obviously doesn't kill anything, but it's very good with your prowess cards. Hit me. Alright, GG. Your Granda wins the match. Okay. Match is very close, by the way. That's funny. All right, we found a found a companion. It's good. Yeah, surveilling is fun. Hello, 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 GLGL. The Dadian Ap Apt Apt Apteronomy. That's a weird name. Keep. What is Giganta? Oh, well, they did. All right, Tron. Yesterday, our only loss was the Chalice of the Void. Wish I wasn't the play. <laughs> I could have probably killed him on turn three if I wasn't the play, but too bad I'm on the draw and 
bad things can happen to everyone on the world. Giganta means no chalice. Thank you, and Minkuchi. That's a very good point. Giganta, mean, Giganta means no chalice. All right. As long as they don't have, like, the Burn Call engine. Oh, wow. They go Island. They go Island. It's not Greentron. It's not Greentron, chat. It's the almighty Blue Tron. That never Trons, because they don't need it. Oh, I'm so happy. Get rid of vertical engine. All right, are we going? Like, yes, who cares, right? This is a good one more pose. Playing around with condescend. The green man, it's okay. Whoa, mutagen growth. And imagine being on the play with this hand. The game would have been over and they didn't even they didn't even get their you use their map. Alright, we'll land with one here. Still red blue. Mm, yeah, no, no, actually just go red red. Whoa! Lightning point. How much damage do I have? Like 40? I'm holding a repeal. Thirty damage, easily thirty damage, easily, easily thirty, easily thirty damage. Oh wow, repeal actually. This is a lot. One thing on the show. Let me count. Um, so this gets back to hand, and now I have left with five, so I can make this into dieci. Quattordici. Wow, so much! So much damage! <laughs> I have 17 damage through a repeal, and it's turn three. It's turn three. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Dragon's Ray Channeler, that told you that you're you're good. You, you, sorry, sorry to bring up the news, but Prowess is busted. Delirium. Delirium's not. Alright. Blue Tron, huh? Okay, let's go Alpine Moon. Where tear? Probably it. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm cutting mutagenic growth. Uh, I gotta get some lava dart too. On the draw, I won't be able to just, you know, be as. Sorry, man. Post cyber, I won't be able to be as 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 effective as I am. They're gonna have ch explosive with. It doesn't gain haste. It doesn't. Again, ten plus two plus two. By the way, chat. Talking to Gira one, and I think tomorrow I'm gonna stream from his store. It's gonna leave me the key to the store. And I'm going to bring the mango stream. Alright. I actually awful. We don't even have double white for lures, but if my number foes that's going that's helping me out there. I don't understand that either, Capra Gasson, but as I said multiple times, I don't care. I I obey. Give me very familiar. That's that's a magic card. I don't even if I want to pull that. Definitely go path it. Just a bolt it. Next turn, it's like a bolt it now. Oh, 
uh, bubble myself. Now I've also found a, um, a very good card to return to Lurus last next turn. There's another bubble on top. You want to draw by bubbles? Yeah. yeah. I'm drawing them all. And if you're thinking, wait, Mangu, you didn't have double white to return to cast Lurus next turn. That's why Metamorphose is in there, chat. Alright, so I draw the bubble. So next turn I'll be able to go more pose lures. No, look, if I guess then look. You have to always look at the re rewording of the card. Look at the card. Land dash Urza's power plant. Okay. So when you play Alpine Moon, it's gonna be just land. Gonna remove all the dash earth power plant. Remember, Magic the Gathering is a game that's been nerfed through through the years. So, yeah. okay, let's go metamorphose here. Play bubble. And then once that's gone, it's over. You don't need it anymore. Play metamorphose. Let's see if it resolves. It does. All right, cool. White. Ooh. Hopefully, Lurus. Oh, wait, well, makes sense. Why not? It's easy. You just remove that part, and then it doesn't read the card anymore. Okay, you're countering this with a condescend, huh? Condescend gamer out there. Sent when you don't have mana, and the a magical line asks you pays to pay two. It's like I don't have it. I can't pay two. All right. Uh, no need to bubble myself because I might as well just bubble them. In one of Lutron, maybe one of the very few decks in my life that I've never played. Wow, a third power plant. That's very unlucky. One of the very few decks that in my Yeah. But look very familiar. Whoa. Sean. All right. What do we I do? What do I do? What do I do? I want to dash Ragavan or not? I guess. Or do I take Lava Dart? I honestly don't care about a second Ragavan. I probably don't even care about the Pilgrim familiar. Let me just dash a Ragaman first, and then I'll bolt the Philigree Familiar. If they counter my bolt, I don't care. If they bolt, if they condescend my bolt, I'm okay with that. I could have, I could have like, have a Ragavan in hand and play Ragavan as my last spell, so if they condescend that, I still have a Ragavan left. But it's just that this Philigree Familiar... Yeah, what does it do? It just jumps on my three. Special contortion. Okay. Yeah, you draw another card. Attacking for five. Should have played the fire reality instead of uh, whatever that I played. Did I play land this turn? Okay, I play the mountain. It's all the island. Yeah, I should have played fire reality. Now if I draw another fire reality, I can't crack two of them. That was a mistake. That is the they they teach you this lesson by humans. Alright, third for the familiar, okay. Bro. Whoa, Madonna Mia. 
It's just so messed up, Expressive Iteration as a card. It's just Treasure Cruise. It's just... Right, so I'll put Boston Myramand. Bottom. Zile. Then I want to play Fiery Alice and crack it. Naturally, I can do that later. I just play Bubble first. Then I'm going to dash in a Ragavan. And then I'm going to play on the Filigree Familiar. Draw a card. I'm attacking you for seven. And then if three mana to play your spell, if I find like a thirst for knowledge. I love that. Second. Exile the field of ruin. Yeah, I'm also drawing a card for this very islet. It's like a store scrimmage. Okay. And I'll finish by playing a Mishra's Bubble. I see a Yavi I see a Yavi on top of their deck. Gonna have six cards in end. <laughs> Although I have no creatures. Trophy Mage. Gonna get a three hero. What is it? Another filigree familiar? Hope not. I already played four. Wow, the fourth one? Okay. Okay. Let's begin. Dragon's Great Channeler. Swift Spear. The we'll Path Fear of Braid Deer. I don't have two mana to cast to dash a Ragavan. Swift Spear. Other Deep Fiend. Yeah, I'll keep a path around then. Okay, Magic Star Creature. Pass. Running a card. This one is definitely cantrip a lot. Bleeding stone. All right. That need that requires them five mana, and I can dash the ragavan in the meanwhile. Alright, let's begin by my number foes. That's very good with Dread Force with Prowess cards. Right, graveyard. And I'm gonna go blue red. I'm gonna go blue red. Also, I have a. Dash. And attack. For seven. Fun has gained so much life. They're still at 14. Alright, come on. Let's find a good card from your deck. There's for knowledge. Cyclonic Rift. Another land. Feel bottom. I'll flip three lands off my Ragavan. Alright, cool. I'll play Inspiring Vantage. Return my Ragavan. Pass to you, opponent. Pass to you. Wow, imagine if I lose this game. That'd be crazy, but... uh I can see it happening. There's not bleeding stone. I can't dash a ragavan, I just have to attack and make the and blow up the stone which is so so whoa great right on time. I have wasting an abrade this way, I think it's better Yeah, I can wait an extra turn, you know. 
Good for some fear. Wow, they just took the damage? No way. You have to blow up the stone. Yeah. Goodbye, treasures. Play land and pass. When I take out the last land out of my deck, then there's only fetch lands. Unfortunately, there's a lot of them. Wow, there's so many fetch lands left in my deck. Okay. I'm gonna play the stone. I get the last land. I just want to check how many lands are left. Una, una. There's only yeah. There's four fetch lands without any any lands to do or for. That's not great. I'm not upgrading in the turn. Oh, damn it! Let's get this. All right, let's just go. Dash this guy. They're they're, they're in a five mana. <clears throat> Condescent. I guess they need to scry. Let's see how they scry. Oh, they want to scry before. Wow. Let's go on top. I mean, I just not attack in chat. You go, opponent. Not a drag of in. I'll let you draw a land here. And now there's a good card on top because they went top top. But now the ragaman is going to kick castle, but all. All right, all right, it's fine. Let's go. Now, now something like mind slaver. Look at this mind slaver. The elder they fried. It is freaking elder. Oh, no, they shuffled their deck. Shuffle their deck, chat. I'm so mad. I drew two fetches in a row. Not even like the 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 Sun Vacant Canyon in Fiery Islet. Not deep primed. Yeah. These cardineers. <laughs> still have them. I still have them in my in my playable binders. Artifact and monocolors playable binders. All right, what did you got? Another deep fiend. Okay. Yeah, you do the thing. I tap my lands. Hey. Okay. Got this. Good paper. Okay, cool. Can I give them the island to cast another deep fiend next turn? No, no, it's coming. So. Ah, yo, another land. Ragavan, why? E va fanculo. I'm going to do them all. There's one land left. One land left in the deck. One land left. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you just got six and you got you got Tron. What do you do with Tron now? Yeah, Rich Moon. I was playing Bond Company. Where's the tower? Yeah, there it is. Eight. Ugin. Okay. You can attack and top like a bolt and kill you. Yeah, I can attack. Four cards in hand. Boom. Lava dar. Okay. Okay. Ah, snow rush. How many lightning bolts I have left in my deck? Uno, do it. I have two. Two left in my deck. 24 cards. Two lightning bolt. One twelve. Right. Hey, hopefully, hopefully I don't have like radiant fountain. 
No Radian Fountain opponent. Academy Ruins. Okay, that's fine to me. Alright, it's the time to top deck now, deck. Listen to me. We got either Express Federation into Lightning Bolt or just straight up Lightning Bolt. Okay? We do it? We do not do it. We do not do it. GG opponent. It was, it was this game. You're very impressed, but we managed to lose this game. Congrats, congrats, deck. You managed to pull it. I uh, think I might take out the Alpine Moons. I'll bring back Mutagenic Grove. On the On the play, and rocks, 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 like, you, you know, like, like the rocks. Let's go, turn one, Ragavan. I guess green, I guess blue Tron, Ragavan, turn one, the play, should be quite hard to deal with. Am I Play a second Ragavan. Exiling some lands. What did I exile? Oh wow, exile the Mind Slaver? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I just play cards. I just play cards and pass. As if they have Tron piece. I know enough. Game one, they did the Tron thing. <laughs> yep. Let's see what happens here. Scry up keep. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, scry up keep. I like it. I like it. I don't want to draw land, and I can just use the treasure to return letters. Perfect. I can actually get to the Lyrum if I find a creature or a sorcery. I'm just attacking here and see what happens. No, I don't I don't want to I'm assuming they go repeal. Oh wow, they don't. Oh they do. Yes. Yes. Then I it doesn't matter bubble my opponent. No. A, okay, a bubble you got. Of course, now that I would have flipped a good card with uh, Ragavan. Okay, no, that's. Still going well here. Point is on 11. Um, I'm missing either a creature or a sorcerer in the graveyard. But yeah, whenever you draw the bubble, it's so easier, so much easier to get to Delirium. I'll play Lurus. Yeah, I'll, uh, uh, sorry, sorry, think about this here. Actually, I think I should play Ragavan because of Condescent. I don't want to just use a Lurus like that. Condescent, I think it's important to play around. It was going with these. Let's see what I find.
repeal again. I might go path to exile on my own Ragavan. It doesn't sound as bad as it sounds. I get a land and I surveil. Path to exile can go on a filigree familiar, but I don't want to use it on my opponents. It's, there, it's early in the game. I don't, I don't have anything to do with my mana anyway. I think I'm doing this. I think I need a land too. Like, Please play around condescension, etc. I should have surveilled, doesn't work. Okay, that's perfect. That goes to my graveyard. So I got to delirium too. So I also got extra damage. And I deny um, a draw from repeal. So yeah, that was a lot of damage from this path to exile on my own card. Obviously, I uh, got lucky that I hit a creature. Hit a creature. Mine, okay. The pass. Begin by casting um, a Ragavan. Sorry, Mentalers. No, no, you don't want to. You only want to dash. Cast it on turn one. Then you, then you always dash it. Lurus, if they've remanded, it's annoying, but that's okay. I'll, uh, I guess I'll dash this. I'll just flash back bubble. I don't care about the soul of your main. What do you do? Spatial contortion. Okay, so I got Lurus. I'll play bubble. Flip bubble, right? Uh, what a bubble you? Yeah, bubble you. What do you have? Elder defined between. Sorry, it doesn't matter. I think in this game, I just want to deal you damage. Like, yeah, I care. I care about more. About the damage, then if you draw a bad card, like you already have five cards in end. So you're in two life. I have two mana. Lures. Etc. I did board out most of my bolts. I only have like three lion bolts and uh two lava dar to burn them. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm firmly worth more than having Merc tied in this deck. So the group familiar gives them two life. Yes, they play thirst for knowledge. It usually, okay. It, this took a long time because yeah, it's good to play long games of Magic, especially. All right, they say GG. Good games, especially like. If you're an aggro deck like this, it's cool to play long games. All right, we're three zero. We're three zero. Every match was, every match was a grind fest though. Some games, sometimes we won on turn three. Mine's great, and I'm on the play. Let's go. Sacred Foundry, yes. Ragavan on the play. With me from Anoli Heat. The Pega Jesus. I don't know, I don't talk about bands. Alright, Spellbomb. Me? What you got on top? It's a good card. Oh, the strand. Okay. Wondering if I should play Mishra's Bubble. Oh, I should have returned Lurus, maybe. Nah. Yeah, I should have returned Lurus, maybe. 
definitely should have. Should have returned Lurus. Should have definitely returned Lurus. What you got on top? Or is it? The Goblin Engineer. All right, this is the deck that's in the um Emmanuel Gunshin so won um a challenge with looks like there's a saga pirate spell bomb and etc they don't have red mana they don't have red mana portable hole. okay damage do they have Dieci, undici, tredici, thirteen damage. Should have gone Lurus, bring back Bubble. Am I bolting you? Did I just deal it all? What can you do? Prowess card. I don't think I want to, no. I'm just not doing anything. Reveal part of industry. All right, I'll return Lurus and pass. And return Ragavan. Prefer to count in Italian. Uh, it's not you prefer, it's just much easier to count in your native language. Your brain presses the numbers easier. Faster, sorry, faster, not easier, faster. Because this is an Urza. Uh huh. And you have three minus portable is an artifact, so. Probably not upset. None of them? Oh, yeah, I know, I know Goblin Engine cast. Up and draw. Love the art. Alright, can we do it here? I guess I'm just attacking first. I can go I spent that demo. I can go Lurus Bubble, crack it, or whatever. This is a 2-3. And then I have mutagenic growth. They don't block the bubble. Not a bad idea. What else can I do? Well, uh it's kind of, it might be a, a little bit afraid to have around in case they do the combo, but they have three cards in it and one is a Goblin Engineer. So they're kind of far away from the combo. Alright, I'm just attacking. Wheel 11! Buongiorno. Thank you for the third month of you became an Espresso Badge. Right, see what they do here, because remember, I have bowls with the uh, Soul Storm in play, so Kona probably takes it. Oh wow, they don't. I can go the Urza and then just bolt again face. And this becomes a 4 5. I can need to kill Urza. Hello, Raging Bull. Yeah, Mutagenic Growth. Break hard. And I just go face with a bolt, I think. In case they suck bomb, red, you need red by suck bomb. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm just both in face. That's my last act. And I'm holding the mutagenic rose. I, I had a couple of plays, I just chose to go for this one. Might be, I might, might not be the best, might not be in the best. Fondo the Y for the fourth month. Appreciate the support. Prefer deck. Yeah, we're playing Just Kept Prowess. Um, kind of a new take on the deck, I want to say, but it's doing well so far. Doing well so far. We're currently three and zero. Every game has been um has been close, actually. You know, we got three times two one. So definitely, definitely a hard fought league so far. Alright, they got chromatic star, sure. So now they found red mana for the pirate spell bomb. Uh-huh. 
mutagenic growth, but I don't think I want to save it. Do I want to save it? I guess. Do I want to save it? Yeah. I save it? Sorry, I'm thinking about this, but do I save it? Because this becomes a 3 3 if they burn this year, the construct, I mean. Glimmer Void, okay. So they drew Glimmer Void off the, off the Chromatic Star. Yep, yep, yep. So they didn't craft the pirate spell bomb. Engineer, now they can put either a bridge or a, th a steel sword of the meek. Yeah, they put the sword of the meek in the graveyard. Not to draw the top their foundry or through the combo. Anyway, on top draw, secret foundry. Alright, what now? I can go Lurus Bubble Attack. I'll do that. So I'll go Lurus. Sorry. Lurus Bubble. Then I also want to scare them with an untapped sacred foundry. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, Express Iteration definitely needed to be here. You can play Light of the Stage, but Iteration just, I think it's worth the splash. You know, like Total doesn't really matter in most matchups anyway, so. Anyway, let's see how this is going here. They're blocking, so they're, they were not afraid. They were not afraid, chat. Well, what now? Uh, do I want to go Lava Dog? Or do I want to? I don't want. I don't want this mutagenic growth because this one I need to. Yeah, I just go lava dart on the construct. Yeah, and as a result, the construct will be a three three, and my uh, soul scramage will be a three four. Okay. Now I'll play Ragavan just like this. I think, just like this. I think. Yeah. Just like this. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Sword is was banned in modern. All right, they have Urza on top, sure. Okay, so I draw. Ooh, a braid. Good card. Very good card. You could play Rip Apart, but I feel like a braid being instant is better. Not sure. I like to play Modern. I think it's the best formatting magic at the moment. And I don't really care about my viewership lately, so I'm just doing this. If I enjoy, I do it. Alright, so they did the thing, they did the combo, so they can make two topsters for free. What's happening? Wow, did you see what happened? They sacked the portable hole to... Oh, wow. It's called Daggery. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, Daggery. Oh, that second land. So they have the combo there, but they have a braid too. What do you do? Oh, you wanna... Yeah. I saved my mutagenic growth in end from turn one forever for this exact moment. Because this pirate spell bomb has always, has, always, has always been there. And I knew that they'll eventually would have kept it for Lurus, so... Alright, this is going as much as I want it to happen, so... All good, Chuck. We're all good here. Vapine. Am I excited for a rise in my story? No, no, my I'm not really excited anymore about anything. Just just living my life. Just living my life. Alright. Mistress Bubble for free. Now, I don't know why I did this first. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh let's just cast. Let's just cast this. Mimorphose first. Yeah, I mean, why not? Should I doesn't get a red exile. Ah, uh, all right. I think I'll be greedy about this. I think I'll be greedy about this. And if I fail, am I just losing the? Iteration. If I don't find. If I don't find a land, I just I just lose. So I don't think I can afford it. In fact, on the top of foundry.
could have been ripped apart. And then let's attack with the Soul Star Mage, and that's it. Bubble yourself first. Mm, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a good thing. I should have bubbled myself. Here, guys. Should have bubbled myself. Now they just do the combo again. Should have definitely bubbled myself. All right, passing the turn. Let's see what I I think I lose now because they do the combo again. Ah, uh, not sure. I think this game, I did have return Lurus on turn two after I connected with Ragavan. I I didn't do that, and then the game just spiraled down a little bit. I just wasted the value there. Yeah, they have the combo now. Good game opponent. Now they have an infinite combo between Urza, Topter, Foundry, and Sword of the Meek. Good game. It's a mission mark deck, you can find it on my lists. Buongiorno Publio. It's time to drink some beers. Are you in uh are you in holiday? Yeah, 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 I didn't play well. Alright. Good game opponent. Well done, well fought. My iteration would have just been these three things, so would have still died to this. Yeah. Well thought, well thought. Now, bring in the wear tier, the Alpine Moon as always. The path oh, seem great. Lava Dart does not. Um mm, Jenny Growth. And the last Lava Dart too. Yeah, no, Pathwax is just amazing, I think. You like Torporob. Oh, hello, Harry Garrison. Like Torpor Orb, let me think about it. Creatures entered about the dawn of cause ability to trigger. So you, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's true. This is the reason a token foundry doesn't trigger. Also the Goblin Engineer. All right. I still think that maybe, maybe I don't want a Pine Moon, but you're just like so annoying to beat. Maybe, maybe I don't want all this path. Maybe three is enough. I think I could have played the game better. Yeah. With a treasure from Ragaman. Right. Another great hand. Come on, let's not bust this as well, please. Huh? I had a turn with Ragaman on the plane and I lost. That's on me. No excuses. Yeah, that was great. Team Vince, Soul Star Mage, go. Alright. There it is. Be like uh I could just cast the orb. Maybe I'm also casting my armor foes. Dealing an extra damage. I don't have Swiss spear, but Yeah, because this orb here stops Golden Engineer from coming down next turn. And I don't really want to overextend into too many uh too many ones. This shouldn't stop anything from my deck, which is cool. Well, all right, nothing. Okay. Didn't have explosives. Oh wow, you don't play explosives. Then should have maybe done a different line. If you don't have explosives, then I'm just casting these guys. I don't want to cast iteration. I feel like it could be better next turn. They go Urza, they don't make a Constructs, they just a 1-4. Let's see what I do. They go near and Bridge. Well, I brought in Wear Tear and I have a... Portable Hold, I'm okay. Huh. 
I would have never thought to bring in this card if you didn't suggest it. By the way, in the chat, we have the winner of Sunday's uh, Modern Challenge, and he won with the Mapulins deck. You can check it out. On, uh, oh wow, they, they're prismatic ending the Torpor Orb. And the Pelix Zero Immortality. Okay, they missed a land drop too. Good to know. A good iteration. Yeah, definitely not a, a, a normal deck. Okay. Bolt in hand, land to the bottom, bubble. How much damage is this? Good game. Okay. Back to game three. One white explosives, I'm, I'm so relieved. I also lost the. Uh... I mean, not. I also lost the winning in at that GP, at Manuel. I lost with the. I was playing Ogak though, at that GP Barcelona. They didn't day to the PT. Like a pine move more than Pa. A, 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 a pine move makes sense. I just didn't want it on the play. I think, but it does definitely make sense on the draw. I still want the Pa though. I had an iteration. We got an iteration on the draw. Alright, let's go. Could have cut maybe one Ragavan. Island, Chromatic Star. The Nimbo Puffer and all uh them immediately. I need to find a land. I don't care about browse trigger. Limit void. Is they a portable all? Yeah, okay. Here. That's okay. I would wait. Oh no, actually, I wouldn't wait. No, because I have the air tier. Sorry, the, 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 the mutagenic growth, but it's in the sideboard. I think. Save the shock. Save from shock. Oh wow, they didn't have artifact. I think they play another artifact. Oh, they do? Okay, cool. Yeah. If not, I could have just blown this up. Actually, storm off. Okay, draw land, please. Hopefully I don't have Urza Tough. Hello, Publion. Without Ragavan or Fetch? So, yeah, I think you can play without Ragavan, but no, you can play without Fetch. I mean, if you if you cut blue, maybe. You, you can play a budget version without Expressive Iteration while out of the stage and without Fetch lands. I just, like, I don't know, Boris lands you own. I guess it could happen. Could work. To exile in a wear tear. Too important. Alright, we lose. That's okay. This deck very often keeps one lands or plus bubbles and has a very high failure rate. Just like, you know, every deck with a very low land count, you do have games that you just keep a hand and it doesn't work out, and it's out of your control, ready for it. Okay, I can't actually tear this. Yeah, or I can't, no, I can't attack because I can just bounce my souls. I could. I could play Torpor Orb, actually. I'm not like dead, 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 dead. I could just take a turn off. 
I think they could turn off here. Then next turn, I can do some things, maybe. Taking a turn off from interacting, maybe I can just take a bit of damage. Well, if I pull Probe in play, I can't really do two. Other than that, what I'm to do is just spinning the Urza. Let's see. Yeah, they spin the Urza from the land, sure. Ether Spell Bomb can save your own thing as well. It's like a seal of removal. <laughs> it is actually a seal of removal if you have a version in play, because you can tap itself. All right. Yeah, things went well. Uh, I also drew a braid, meaning that, uh, well, I can just... Honestly, they haven't been doing anything. I'm just going expressive iteration here. Might be greedy, because if I don't find the land, it's bad. All right, you know what? Let's play Mana Morphose first. And then Expressive Iteration. Yeah. I don't want to deal with my opponent's stuff at the moment. Okay. Like a blue-red. Mishra's Bobble. Huh. This, 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 this is different, then Because now the... Bubble. Yeah, I think now it's different. Now... They double block. Should I go iteration? That's the question. Let's say I break on land. I can still attack. They do like what? Double block? I'm fine. Yeah, I think I'll go iteration. And if I find a land, then it's great. I guess I'm still gonna shoot bubble myself first before deciding. But anyway, let's see what I find. Whoa. Okay then. Okay then. Very good, very good. Now, I kind of want to pop to exile uh, a card here. The Construct? The Urza? I don't want to pop to exile the Urza, so I just save it with this. So maybe, maybe I just attack here. Attack here. Let's see what they do, because if they bounce one of my cards, I'll just replay post combat. I believe Killer Earth if they double block, right? Replay it. Yeah, you're bouncing this. Okay. Alright. Uh, sure. Now, post combat. Uh, can you just bolt? No, I don't care about the Urza. Should I care about the Urza? Does it just give them a card at random? I have to pay. Yeah. Let me bubble them first once again. Should get should get my information before I make my choice. All right. Oh wow, they play land first before using Urza. Guess they have another card in hand. Did it play? What is this? What is this? Oh, they activate Urza. I find Urza Saga. Bam. Okay, the opponent mis misplayed here. They should have held on the land. Now they can't play their land. Golden Engineer is their card, so they have no cards in hand. The story, and now this doesn't trigger because of the Torpor Orb. Okay, guys, we're doing great. We're doing great. Seven cards against none. Now I'm killing. Now I'm killing what they got. So I can go Monastery Swift Spear, Path to Exile Braid. Yeah, yeah, now I'm doing this. Oh, wait, actually, what does this do? Search your. Service an art for a turn target with my turn body list on the bottom. So I can just return a chromatic start to draw. Yeah, I don't want it to happen. So let's just go. Uh, Swift Spear. No, actually, I can do better. No, path to exit. All right, never mind. Let's go. Switch here. Path. And a braid. And now I have Torpor Orb. And they have no cards in hand. They could have had um, a, um, a, there's a Saga in play, in which case they do kill it with a tear. 
deal three damage to this guy. Attack for three, you get a 13, pass. I still have Lurs. My life total is not that big now, actually. If Drawers a Saga play, sure. Take my turn. Generation to begin with. Uh, keep a braiding end. Let me sure his bubble. Then I want to play... Actually, bubble you, because if I find the land, I'm not attacking with Ragaman. What do I find? Spire of Industry. Perfect. I'm not, I'm not playing... Look, I'm going to fire it. Tear. Tear here. Then I'll go Soul Star Mage. Attack just with my Swiss Spear. You draw the land that I know you draw. And then I think I win next turn. Wow. Wow. This was a strange game. I thought I was lost for sure. My opponent just dirtled around for a few turns. Didn't actually press the advantage. And were able to recoup from the advantage. Card or 9, another hand. If I go Ragavan... If, if I go... Let me think. If I go Ragavan, bold face, that's two, five, six, seven. So I don't have lethal. Ray? No, actually, Ray, good game. Cool. Cool game, wow. All right. Let's go! Woo! Every match has been... Has been so close! Every match has been so close, chat! Every match went to freaking Game 3, Turn a Million. What? How long is this lasting? It's more than two Red Prowess deck. Okay. I think it's called Conjur Conjurer's Bubble. Anyway. All right, let's go, Magic Dan. You are my opponent for the trophy. You are between me and my second trophy. And it's, it's going to be with a mirror match of Lurus of the Dream, Dan. All right. Let's go. Oh, Lodestone Bubble. I didn't think about that one. I thought it was the Conjurer's Bubble. The one that was played in X. Oh, wow. Fear deck. I didn't kill this in my turn. Turn as a Channeler. Not Spike. Why people? How do you get delirium? Oh yeah, you have delirium already. Ghost oh. Mage, top land, go. Who's your librarian? I'll get the put a full boil. Ended. Storm face. Begin with Monomorphose. Blue. Play Mishra's Bubble. Bubble myself. What do I see? Mutagenic Growth. Okay. Things might happen here. Things might happen here. Should I just go for Fiery Eyes, Toaster Mage? I know my opponent doesn't draw a burn spell. Yeah, I think I think. I think I'm fine in dying if they have a burn spell. I could allow a dart to shrink this. 
but uh, I, I won't do it. it. Deals more damage than a Ragaman here. Okay. I get a five, potentially two. All right, both enough, Keith. <laughs> I love it. All right, concede. Good game. We're on the playing game too. Brain game path, and that's probably it. Mm -mm. I'll take out mutagenic growth. That's not true. I'm taking out what? Two. It doesn't seem that easy. You like Lava Dart? Uh, I think they, they it might be work. It might be it might be good. They have a they have a they have one ones right. They have Chandler and maybe Ragavan. Plus, it's a cheap cheap card from a prowess deck. Should I go bubble here? I'll hold the bubble. Looks like I can now bubble up, uh, bubble fetch land. That's on top, it's called Intarn. Ah, uh, okay, cool. Playing three colors is gonna hurt in the burn matchup, but if you're on the play, I don't think it matters that much. Oh, wow, you see him blazed. Cool. Liberation. I don't think I want the second path. I just, I don't mind getting another land. There. Wow, another Serum Blades. <laughs> Turning Lurus. Or I go Iteration. If I go Iteration, I have to find... Uh... I think I'll go Lurus. Next turn I can go Lurus, Chan, Metamorphose. We'll see. I'll go to 7. Surprise when people leave in these kind of matches. I think I need to play Lurus just in case I survive one turn, I'm able to gain some life. Oh, I misclicked. Is it possible that I misclicked? Didn't ask me to add. Eight. Um. I think I'll go and bottom exile. I'll dash a ragavan. Attack and play soul scar mage. Spike, but I don't care. Got the creatures and all level spikes. All right, let's see if I'm dead. They have four cards and four life. I died to like four. That's okay. All right, four one. So second four one, uh, second four one in a row with this deck. 